So what can be done on a larger scale to help these hospitals and frontline workers? KSHB 41 News anchor Brian Madrick explains how doctors hope action from state governments could make a difference and give hope to health care workers. Doctors are feeling the strain of COVID-19. We want to open more testing. We can't get the staff to do it. I, it's just, um, it's really frustrating um, when all you want to do is the best for your community um, and, and you, you just don't have the resources to do it. That's Dr. Jennifer Shrimpshire, Deputy Public Health Officer for Douglas County. She was joined by hospital leaders in Kansas and Missouri, explaining how they're handling what they call a COVID crisis. I don't know what to do without, without help from the state, you know, in the form of an emergency declaration. The pandemic prompted emergency orders in Missouri and Kansas, but they're now in history. Governor Mike Parson let Missouri state of emergency expire on the last day of 2021. Governor Laura Kelly rescinded seven pandemic orders last summer. With things looking worse, could emergency orders make a comeback? Her spokesperson told us, quote, the governor is reviewing both short-term measures that can be implemented, as well as longer-term solutions that will require partnership with the legislature. Emergency orders vary state to state. It could include waiving certain laws and regulations or bringing in the National Guard for help. Cindy Samuelson with the Kansas Hospital Association says it boils down to flexibility. If you need to do a testing and you need to swab individuals to find out if they have COVID, um, making sure you have the right individuals doing that job. So a medical provider, but maybe not the staff nurse that can be at the bedside. The association says it's working with elected leaders to make sure hospitals they represent are not forgotten. In Kansas City, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.